110 degrees. We're at the store soccer. Okay, oh, this choo 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 choo, unfortunately. Oh, look at that. Oh, Waterford. Now let's go for this one Fragile Stone Clock and Plants. Yeah. How much is that? How much was that? I don't know. Four thousand dollars in shoes right here. That is crazy ridiculous. These Uggs got the bling, 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 bling. What you got for us, Jimmy? Chew, chew, chew. Oh, look at this. All right, Locker Nuts, since getting here, the temperature has actually gone up to 110. That's what my car says. 110 degrees. We're at the store, Soccer. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Well, the name kind of says I am a little bit nuts. All right, why did I work in this heat? Well, because we're going to the flea market tomorrow and we're gonna get an early start and leave early, but still, I gotta get a full load and the rest of it is in here. So we're gonna do two things today. One is we're gonna finish off this van so we get a full load for the market. Number two, we're gonna go through some more stuff, more boxes from that rich lady locker. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, please go back and watch those videos it's been a really great locker amazing stuff name brand amazing stuff expensive stuff expensive like expensive right okay let's get in here this is my locker but that's where i stored it let's open it up and get to work in Okay. Oh, this is good. Okay. I forgot where I left it and I did leave myself a little room right here That is gonna be key today because I need to get out of the Sun I need to be working in the shade and I think that looks like a little sweet spot right there That's where I'm gonna go. I don't really want these sitting in the baking hot Sun. Well, let's get to it Well, here's what my van looks like currently. I need to pack it a little better. That's an empty right there But yeah, I got a decent amount of stuff in here But I got to get all the rest of the tables and I have to fit a lot more merchandise in here to make it worth it I have plenty of merchandise. Okay, if you didn't see the other videos where I put this stuff in here This is all boxes this whole stack about two-thirds of the way back all boxes all full and all untapped right we haven't gone through any of these i think maybe we started going through that i forget there's a couple right here that we did go through and those are already ready to go let me get these tables loaded and then we'll start digging and see how much more we can get on that van also let's see how long my camera lasts before it overheats <laughs> there's always that okay change of plans instead of doing it right here I'm gonna go ahead and go back here into my little workstation right here because you know what it's a little bit cooler in here uh, Let's grab us a box. Let's go with this master bedroom books. I don't particularly like dealing in books, but I'd like to get that out the way Let's do it All right Okay It looks like a bunch of books to me <laughs> This lady had like lots of self-help books and that kind of stuff so We'll bring it to the market. I think we brought some out there before. Yeah, it did kind of decent, actually. We'll follow up with these. Here's a card. Very new card. Okay. Okay, this one says pictures. So we kind of pretty much know what this one's going to be, but let's take a peek anyways. Shoe boxes with pictures. Yep. Yep. Just making sure. Just making sure. Yep. Okay. No surprises there. This whole big stack right here is all pictures, but uh, they're all marked pictures. The bottom one, maybe not, but I haven't gone through them all. I'll do it later. I mainly just want to get this clear right here. I got to get back here anyways. I got to get this and a couple of the anchors for these awnings for tomorrow because it's going to be so bloody hot tomorrow. I make sure I got proper cover, especially since I think the girls are going with us. This one also said books and choo 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 choo, unfortunately. Okay, the last one says pictures. Oh, this one's open. Did I already look in here? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just spilled my water bottle. Knocked it off, spilled, and I'll tell you, I, that's a shame right there. I can't waste any water. Today is so bloody hot. I gotta conserve that. I feel like I'm taking a trek across the desert. Feels like I'm in that movie Dune. Magazine rack and snowball. Snowball? 
sounds like the name of a white Persian cat or something. Hopefully the cat's not in here. Okay, what do we got? Oh my goodness, the cat really is in here. Rocky. This is uh, pet remains. This is when you get your pet cremated. They put them in these little boxes. OMG, I was just kidding about the snowball. I was seriously, that was just a joke. And apparently that was a very terrible joke. Not funny. So I think we're gonna find snowball. There's a little angel. Okay, this is a magazine rack. It's actually pretty nice. There's a lot of paper in there. Yeah, this is leather right here. That's that's a really nice little magazine rack right here. That will sell. It will sell. I don't know how much, maybe six, seven bucks. I see a lot of paperwork in here. I don't like that. This is funny. This is my actually my competition when I used to have my business. This is a competing publication of what we ran. That's funny. This must have been all the stuff that was in that rack. Oh my goodness, there's another one of the competitors. These guys were something for a while there until these guys came along. These guys knocked those guys out like within a year or two. Just a much better business plan. All right, well, looks like that be it. Okay, let's go for this one right here. Glass and stone cabinet. Okay, I know it doesn't sound that interesting, but if you remember that really nice cabinet piece, the one I gave away, it was probably like a $500 piece. I think whatever's in this box was what was stored in that cabinet. I see that one and I see like glass and stone cabinet. I think there's a few of them. Stone clock, nah. Um, yeah. Anyways, there's a few of them. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Heavy piece, just a candle holder. What was the price on that? Elegant clutter, that's where they bought it. I don't see a price, but not cheap. paper um i will reuse all this paper i'm throwing it over there i'll consolidate it into a box afterwards but i'll reuse all this paper for when we ship stuff it'd be a terrible waste to just throw it away that's a heavy metal piece right there and it's actually kind of nice isn't it Look at these rams heads here huh i wonder if that's worth anything i don't know it's going to market it's going to market What exactly is that? That is... <laughs> is that just decorative or is there a purpose to that? Huh. This is Morgan Hill quality past made in India. That's, that's a little different. Man, so much paper in there. That was it. That big huge box, there's like three pieces in there. Sheesh. Okay, let's do another one. Let's go for this one. Looks like we're gonna have another paper party here. Okay, no, that's, this has got a lot more pieces, smaller stuff. And a couple candles. There's a nice Bible right there, pretty big one. Cool. Oh, look at that. It's glass. It's got something on there. Looks like an NN or a VV. Do you see that? I don't know if that's coming out. Or a Z with a line through it. That's a maker mark on there. That is, I don't know. That's something a little different. I'm gonna put that aside. That might be something that we put into our live auctions. And that's some more of the kind of stuff I wanna find. I don't wanna find any more of these candles. More candles. Oh, nice little crucifix. That's cool. It's a nice one. Silver plated cup. Another stinking candle. No moss candles! Huh? What is this? Ah, oh, they got more of that candy again. Jeez. There's a glass cross. $57. What? Made in Germany. Yikes. Okay, maybe we're gonna put that aside too. I'm putting the better stuff aside over here and uh, we'll save that for maybe for our live auctions. There's another one. Ooh, Waterford. 
Waterford Crystal Cross. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the kind of stuff we like to see. So when I say that, I'm gonna put it in my live auction, guys. You've probably already heard me say it a million times, but we do live auctions every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific on the YouTube channel, okay, only on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we take the best stuff that we find and we put it in the live auction, the best stuff. The other stuff goes to flea market or charity or the dump but most of this stuff we'll bring to the flea market because this was really good stuff we're gonna make some money off of it with this kind of stuff i don't think that's good enough for our auction but it's kind of cool here's another one <laughs> yikes here's another one okay just a nice little basket here maybe a waste basket maybe just for i don't know organizers what What's that for? Ay, 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 I don't know. I don't know what that's for. Oh, that's the lid for the box. Oh, that's cool. Hey, actually, that's really nice. Okay, a little Florida Lee decoration. Adams Bay, Palm Desert, California. That's a large piece, whatever this is. Another decorative piece. It looks like a candle holder. Not my thing, not my thing. Now let's go for this one. Fragile stone clock and plants. Sounds like good flea market stuff to me. Let's find out. More paper. Yeah, okay, fake plants. Really dusty fake plants, but fake plants. <laughs> let's see if they'll sell, I don't know. I'm feeling this is the stone clock. Unless they click baited us. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That's actually really cool. That is really cool. It's also really heavy. It's metal and stone. I mean, it's a real deal. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That'll do well at the market. I, I don't know. What do you think? I'm thinking 20 bucks. That's what I'm going to ask on. Maybe 25. It's pretty dope. All right, guys. I'm digging a nice little hole right here. I'm just not ready for the Halloween costumes. I didn't really want to rush into those. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. It's a lot of Halloween costumes, apparently. We already found one box of Halloween costumes that we went through. It was good stuff. Look at that Vegas costume. Okay, who knows what's in there. Let's go for this one right here. Fragile martini glass. And this is pans, too. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like good flea market stuff. Oh, there's another Halloween. Oh, and this is worth mentioning, too. YSL shoes. Yves Saint Laurent shoes. That's what it says, anyways. Oh man, this one's super light. Super light. Oh, we got more of these. Okay. Found these in the first day. These things. These are hand painted martini glasses. We found some of these already in this locker. Those are long gone. We sold them at the flea market. But oh, ooh, those are cool. Look at that with the cards and the poker chips. Brand new price on this is $21.50. So, oh, look at that. It's got the uh, recipe on the bottom. Poker teeny. It's got the recipe. How clever. These are all hand painted. I think they're pretty neat, but I don't think they're necessarily very valuable. And they're definitely not that easy to ship. Nothing's that easy to ship these days. So yeah, I think these can go to the flea market. I do. What's that? It's just a sprinkler. <laughs> a couple sprinkler heads in there. Why not? Got the martini glasses. That's where I keep mine. Alright, these chip clips are good. I'm gonna bring them home. For some reason, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those things like charger cables. They just, they just disappear on us. Right, here's another one, but it's not in a box. It's a happy birthday one. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that's the same as these. These are a little bit cooler, I think. Those will go. Those will go. Let's see what else we can find. It's so bloody hot in here. <sighs> Okay, this is Fragile Black Crystal Glasses. Black Crystal. That sounds pretty cool. Let's see if it lives up to its name. Yay, more paper. Oh. Okay, so that's what we got. Alright, that's neat. And if this is a whole box of that, that's, uh, that's a lot of pieces because that's a pretty good sized box. We're gonna bring that to the market. All right, we'll go through it there. We'll unwrap it. We'll get the girls to help me. They're good at that. They're good at unwrapping. 
All right, let's go for this box. Even though this is not a flea market box, well, I mean, if it's Eve St. Laurent shoes, not flea market box. Let's just see what's in there. Besides, I want to get to the ones below it, so. Oh, they're in the box, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. $790. Yes. Oh, these are brand new. No signs of wear whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, four more. Hopefully they're all in here. <laughs> okay, we might be bringing these home just so we could, uh, I don't know, auction them or something with them. This one's also 795 for 795 Okay, this one's got some wear, though. She did wear these. Sheesh. She liked them big heels. She liked big heels. Heels and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. I don't like big heels. Being a short guy, this one, this one's here. 840 on these. Look at the size of those. These ones have definitely seen more wear, but I'd say they're still in really, really good condition. Really, 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 really good. Lots of life. Lots of life. Boom. Another one. 795. Also worn. But leveler, simply marvelous. And another one, 760. Uh oh, someone's at the door. Who that? Who that? <laughs> FedEx or something. 760 on these. Okay. Also, worn, not new. So there's one brand new in here. The rest of them, this one's got a little bit more wear. I see like scuff marks on the side here. But yeah, still some really, really expensive shoes. So check this out. One, two, three, four, five. Five pairs starting at 760, going up to 840. How much is that? How much was that? I don't know. $4,000 in shoes right here? That is crazy ridiculous. Okay, digging. We're digging. We're digging. It's like we're digging in the snow. Let's go to this one here. One below it says DVDs. I want to look in there because that could go straight into our Monday auction. Oh, look at this. Ugh. <laughs> this looks almost new too. That's funny. These Uggs got the bling. Bling, 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 bling. Size five. Those are Uggs, but they ain't ugly. These ones are Guess. No, they're, they're Guess. See, right there. By Marciano Guess. Okay. And then these, these look nicer. Vero Querero, made in Italy, 36. These are similar to some of the ones we've had already. That's cool. More leather boots. Huh, there's only one pair of guests in here. Though. I would have never guessed that. Ah, 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 ah. That was dumb. That was really bad. I apologize, but <laughs> I'm not really that sorry. Okay, I think the heat's getting to me, guys. I think I'm getting a little goofy. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that was easy. Okay, did we already look in here? I don't think so. Ooh, Dark Knight. No cover. Looks good though. Got a lot of stuff in here. A lot of movies. All right. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this can go in our auction. Just make, make that one big, huge lot right there. Why not? Alright, what else we got here? Designer shoes? Ah, it's not flea market stuff. Whew. I'm starting to get a little lightheaded here, guys. Can you just uh, trust me when I tell you it is stinking heavy? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not heavy, what am I even saying? It's stinking hot is what I meant to say. Whew, my head's getting heavy. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Ooh. I better keep the film rolling because if I pass out, that would be awesome. Capture that on footage. Okay, this one says spring consignment. Last time we saw a box like that, it had incredible shoes in it. Incredible. Oh man, this looks like more of those. It looks like more of those. This Angele Anastasio. We've already found a bunch of shoes by that brand. And they are super high end. Oh my. Look at that. Are these even used at all? 
it's hard to say if they were used there indoors only the rubber here is starting to get a little tacky and i don't mean the color i mean it's sticky those are those are pretty cool okay okay these are size 36 and there's no price on them i think these are really really like I don't know. Uh, niche, I guess is the right word. This is also 36. No price on these either. Oh yeah, look at that. They're super cool. I really don't think they've been worn. This almost feels like suede on the bottom. So it would show wear very easy. There's just like a little bit of wear. I can't tell if that's from them trying it on. Or maybe she bought it and wore it indoors like to a party or something and wore it like once. Yeah. Man. Pretty nice. And climbs. How much are these? 132. Okay, so these are these are nowhere near as valuable as the other or expensive. 132. Originally 198. And climb size six, but still really. And these are made in Italy. Really nice. These and climbs right here. Oh, those are used to. Similar to the others, just a little different color. Okay. Also regularly 198, marked down to 132. It looks like 50% off that, so. Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo. What you got for us, Jimmy? Choo, Choo, Choo. Oh, look at this. This actually got uh, seashells built in. That's different. I've never seen that before. 34 and a half, these are a little bit smaller. Made in Italy. Oh, why is this a fancy, fancy, fancy? I think Jenna said Jimmy Choo's are expensive. I don't know. It says three forty-five right there. Maybe that's the price. There's more Jimmy Choo's, but first we got a Banana Republic. Do you guys look like looking at women's shoes? I don't know. It's what I got. Five and a half right there. Fifty bucks. One hundred eight marked down to fifty. More Jimmy Choo. What you gonna do? I'm gonna look at some expensive shoes. Oh, look at that. It's almost like it's got uh, turquoise in there. I think those might be pieces of turquoise. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Extravagance. No price. Huh. Some Michael Kors. Ooh, these are nice. Look at that. Brand spanking new. Size 6. Those are really nice. Six hundred and seventy-six dollars, really? What? I just, I can't imagine spending so much money on something, on shoes. I, I mean, I buy a pair of shoes. If it's a hundred and ten dollars, I'm freaking out. And I buy like one pair every like three years. Okay, yeah, I do find shoes in storage lockers. So that kind of ties me over, but still, Kate Spade right here, size five. <laughs> Here's some Calvin Kleins, $290. There's a little bit more conservative, I kind of think, maybe. A little bit used, not too much. This used just the right amount. <laughs> that looks like Louis Vuitton right there. And that's his Burberry. Oh, oh, okay, got a couple more very interesting shoes to come out. Stay tuned, folks. This one's Calvin Klein, $270. Yeah, very nice, very nice. All right, let's look at these Burberries. We like the Burberry. What? $145? Did they make shoes that cheap in that line? Man. Oh, those are so cool, though. They're light, too. I like that. I mean, if I was to wear Burberry shoes, these would, these look like they'd be comfortable. Size 36. Very neat. Now, what are these? Uh, they don't say Louis Vuitton, so... I say they're not Louis Vuitton because Louis Vuitton would say Louis Vuitton. They don't make it secret. Boy, these feel kind of high quality though. I don't know what they are, but they do feel quality. These are not cheap flip flops right here. All right, that's our box of shoes here, guys. Was that was that fun? Was that interesting? I don't really know. I'm too exhausted to know. I'm on autopilot at this point. I can't even stop. Boxes of papers. That sounds so much fun. Not. Let's see what's this right here. QVC delivers. Box of papers or a QVC box? I think we'll go QVC box. Let's go QVC box. Susie Orman, boy. What is this? What is this? Susie Orman selling her cheap Chotskis. 
boy. All right. I don't know, guys. I don't. I don't really want to spend much time on that. Some terribly cheap briefcase of some sort comes from QVC. So I'll put that aside. I'll look it up. I don't even really care. Susie Orman. I strongly disagree with some of her financial advice, so I don't really care to give her any free publicity. Dave Ramsey. Yes, I do like Dave Ramsey. Susie Orman. Not so much. Okay. Maybe we'll get to this too. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, you know what? Let's get to that next edition. I think we're on full. Let's take a look real quick. Let's take a look at the van. It's looking pretty good. Look pretty good. There's a few little holes here. Maybe I can find some stuff at home to fill in. But it's it's not too shabby. I got to get a couple chairs. I got a chair there. I got to throw some chairs on there for the girls. Because they do like their chairs. Saw a couple things in here. Wanted to mention. See, that right there says ski. But you see right above it? That's kind of interesting. See all those little dust bags? That looks like handbags. It looks like handbags. Okay, and then over here, up there, that kind of looks like handbags too. I'd really like to find some handbags, more handbags. That looks like undies, that looks like swimsuits, clothes, clothes, clothes. I see a little bit of shoes. We got, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff to go through here still, and I think we're going to find some more really good stuff. Designer shoes right there. Oh, it says right there, Christian Lobotin and Jimmy Choo. Oh man, there's going to be more good stuff. All right, guys, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cap that for the day. Uh, nice little find at the end there with these shoes. Of course, I could have just picked and choose and found a little bit more interesting boxes. But like I said, today's objective was to get more stuff in that van for the flea market. I gotta, I want to make room in here. We're starting to. It's feeling much better. I got to maximize every trip to the market. It's very difficult to get out there with the schedules and such. I got to make sure I bring full loads and good loads when I do go out. So this will be interesting. We've got some of that cowboy junk from the recent locker. Not terribly exciting. And we have a lot of stuff from this one. Still have a little bit of stuff left over from the vintage market market you know stuff that just didn't sell so who knows i think we're gonna have a decent day tomorrow uh we'll film it all that's the plan we're gonna film it and let you guys join us for the adventure it'll be a little bit harder though i think because today my gopro overheated like uh three or four times so i had to keep swapping batteries that's gonna be difficult tomorrow because it's gonna be hot so and we're outdoors so you're getting more of the sun beating on you so We'll see what happens. Just one more reminder, if you ladies out there, if you wear a five to six and a half shoe, mostly five and a half to six, five and a half to six, but anywhere from five to six and a half, that's the range of the shoes we're finding in this locker. And they are amazing brands and they were super expensive, brand new, and we've been auctioning them in our auction and they go for anywhere from $25 and up. So there's some great deals to be had. Make sure you make our auctions. They're every Monday night at five again, but also we do the pop-ups sometimes midweek, just depending on our schedule and when we can pull it off we definitely have plenty of inventory though we have plenty of stuff to sell so make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified when we launch something spontaneous speaking of which this will be well past by the time you guys watch this video i think but we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers tonight i think tonight is going to be the night so we may do a spontaneous live tonight uh, who knows right we're going to hit that 100k it's so exciting it's a really big deal and thank you everyone who's been part of this journey everyone who's been a subscriber and everyone who's supported our channel Mm, so appreciate you it's been a blast and uh yeah 100k wow 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 oh and the light went off i guess that's a sign to wrap this video up okay until the next time which will be a flea market <laughs> good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on this right here locker nuts that's you mm. oh it cooled down it's only 111 now huh wait no it didn't to the flea market. It is early, but not as early as it should be. Got a late start. We usually like to get there before they open, and they have been open for like almost half an hour now. Girls, you ready? Yeah? We're gonna sell a lot today.